What's up? It's Sean from Digital Hospitality. Today we are here with Josue Casillas, American Factory Wheel. We're doing a behind the scenes episode so you can learn a little bit more about how this man built his business from the garage. Yes, sir. So what we do is we buy them. They always have some kind of blemish to them or whatever. We'll grab them, we'll clean them up, we'll make them look better, and, uh, and then we just wait for somebody to call on these things. And usually our customers are uh, body shops, tire shops, um, anyone that has a car coming through their driveway. We got 11,000 square feet of uh, building and about 1,500 square feet uh, yard space. 11,000 square feet and, and how much in, in yard space? Uh, about 1,500. 1,500? 1, nice. In the last seven years, you said that you started doing a lot more business with platforms like Yelp. Right. Where it's actually direct to consumer. Right. And I think that's something that's very important to essentially digital hospitality. Yes, yeah. That's why we started yeah, doing yeah. this podcast is that no matter what business you're in, you have to be on the internet. You have to right. be discoverable. I mean, you have yeah. all these solutions for people that bend their rim. Yeah, and people don't know about us. How, are, how, how are they, they going to sell you? this stuff? So yeah. they're now finding you. You have over um, almost 400 reviews, five stars on right. Yelp, because people are coming out and they're going, shit, I'd rather come to you right. than actually have to go somewhere else. Right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, because of Yelp, the retail has found us. So now we're kind of... Our business is probably about 20% retail and 80% wholesale. Um, but yeah, retail is huge. And because of Yelp and social media and uh, those type of platforms, uh, we've been able to slowly grow um, into the retail market. We basically outsource about $100,000 worth of uh, work to our, uh, our vendors. Our vendor, which is one company that was doing this stuff for us, and uh, so what we want to do is we want to cut that at least in half in 2020. This is an art. Not anyone can just come in here and, you know, paint some wheels and stuff. So there's some uh, skill that uh, is needed. So what's the most popular color? Uh, silvers and blacks. Silvers and blacks? Yeah, always. Yeah, silvers and blacks are the most popular. I asked them if spinners were still a thing. Apparently they're not. So if you want spinners, it's just this it's guy what he does. He's <laughs> <laughs> in there right now painting. Nice. Can we go in? Uh, no. No? Why doesn't he have a mask on? He should. <laughs> hey. Yo! Yeah, I know. <laughs> then you got freaking workers' comp claims. And it's my fault, right? <laughs> it's okay, we got it on video, so it's it's fine. This is the, uh, the repair shop. This is what we do. Um, do your you thing. Know, uh, structural repairs, so the bends, the cracks, the chrome leak. Adam there right now is working on a chrome leak repair. This wheel is at its end, like it's ready to go. It's ready to get delivered, and what he's doing right now is just cleaning it up, making it look better, and um, it'll go out for delivery today. We do have a plan with this space out here. Um, what we plan on doing is, I don't want to give too much information because uh, our competitors might be listening, but um, we want to do a carport out there and do some quick uh, uh, repairs, basically like Jiffy Lube, you're able to drive in and get an oil change, stay in your car. We game wanna, changing it's shit. It's a game changing game shit. Game changing we, shit. We, we want to do something similar to that with wheel repairs. So that's that's the plan for this space. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll, we'll go, we'll get into more details. And it is game changing. We're gonna get more <laughs> into more details during the podcast and uh, really shake up the industry. So the San Diego Chargers, San Diego Chargers, um, are a big, a big deal to, to me and uh, Josue over here. Actually, uh, that's how we met Blue Vision, our guys here. Aaron interviewed me. Uh, did he interview you for uh, Save Our Bolts? I think so. This guy. This is... <laughs> <laughs> See, the... See the resemblance? Yeah. It's the NFL Road Warrior. Yeah. So that's how we know each other, through football. Through and football. you're right. I mean... Football and sports and business. So wait, uh, in you, our world, it mixes. So you actually put rims on Antonio Gates' car? Yeah. So when we were down in Mission Valley, um, uh, you know, we we serviced a lot of the athletes: Antonio Gates, LT, uh, Darren Sproles. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, and that's how we were able. To, I was able to build relationships with the Chargers because some, some of their front office are still my friends, and so it was important for me to. So you put rims on Antonio Gates' car, and we also catered for 
Antonio Gates in the Chargers at Chargers Park. Well, I did so more for, for Antonio Gates than just put rims on his what car. Did you do but... for him? What did you do for him? <laughs> Antonio Gates is a special guy. We'll just leave it. <laughs> <He's a special laughs> <guy. laughs>